Our other top story right now, the search for the cause after a deadly house fire. The family mourning the death of their six-year-old girl. It's a story we first broke on the morning news. We're told the family recently lost another relative. The fire broke out overnight on Brockett Road in Mims. That is off of U.S. Highway 1. News 6's James Barbero talked to family members about this tragedy. At this destroyed Mims home, deputies say they still don't know what caused the deadly fire. This afternoon, prayers are going out for hospitalized family members who survived and for the six-year-old girl who did not. Her name was Roxy, and she was a very beautiful little girl. She was so young to lose her life like that. Broken hearts on Brockett Road. While the home is a total loss, it's the loss of life that's much more devastating. There were seven people that were living in the trailer at the time. Six of them made it out, and unfortunately, a six-year-old female did not and actually perished in the flames. The Brevard County Sheriff's Office says at 20 after midnight, the fire engulfed the trailer so fast the little girl was trapped inside. Her father suffering second-degree burns trying to rescue her. The same desperation by authorities when they arrived. One of the deputies did try to enter the residence and was just unable to due to the fire and the intense heat and had to turn back. They've lost a daughter back in July and now they've lost a grandchild too. Now family members asking for prayer. Shirley Rock is the girl's great aunt and lives across the street. They have no money. They have no place to live. Where are they going to go? What are they going to do? The Red Cross is helping the Rock family as the fire marshal works to find the cause. Deputies say the fire does not appear to be intentional. In Mims, I'm James Sparvero, News 6.